Alô, alô, torcida tricolor. My name is Enzo with Fluminense in English, and this is your Fluminense news for Tuesday, April the 23rd. <laughs> to start off, I think we need to talk about the thing that's on everybody's mind, which is Thiago Silva's eventual return to Fluminense. And he has stated that he will not be renewing with Chelsea, but he has not stated that he has signed for any club after Chelsea or even made any verbal agreements. He has said, though, that he has made up his mind on the decision he will make and where he will go after Chelsea, where he will take his career. And in the past, he's always talked about repaying his boyhood club of Fluminense, of course, uh, by going and finishing his career there because they gave him a chance when no one else would. So in my mind, I think that he for sure will come to Fluminense. There are other things pointing to his return to Fluminense, such as his wife's Instagram, where she was like, Oh, we don't know. There's no decision made yet. And then at the end of the video, she puts on a hat like I have right now. And maybe she's kind of saying cap. But maybe I'm like reaching at straws. There might not be anything at all. She might have actually meant it. She might have actually meant that there's no decision made, even though Chaco Silva said there is a decision made. Now, also, Copa do Brasil commented on someone's Instagram post saying, Fluminense, do you have any notices for me? Any news? Do you have anything to tell me? So I think that's definitely talking about Thiago Silva. And there's a lot of people who just really think Thiago Silva will return after his contract ends with Chelsea. Me included. I think there's no way he doesn't return. Now, Thiago Silva returning to Fluminense doesn't mean that we should be focusing completely on Thiago Silva. We have such a big team and full of great high quality defenders. And I think Geniz really needs to realize that. And although we do need more defensive signings if we want to win something big like the Copa do Brasil or the Libertadores, I do think that we need to realize that all the potential we have. Even the Mulex de Gianni, they're really good. The youth squads, all of them, they're great. And they need time, but you need to give them that playing time so they can develop. And sometimes that's going to mean conceding a goal or conceding a play because they're still kids, but it's better to concede a play with a youth defender than playing an attacker on defense, which is just something that's inexcusable and I did not like to see against Bahia. Now, I am glad to see that Genie's returned to playing all the players in their correct formation, in their correct position as well, against Vasco. And we saw how that worked. We won the game. Now, it was a little bit of a battle, but it's a classic match against our rivals. And it's always going to be a little bit of a battle, no matter how good they are and how good we are. It's just how things are. But... um. I think it's great that we're back to this, and I hope we can stay this way so we can win a Copa do Brasil or Libertadores this year. Now, we didn't win the Carioca, which is kind of a bummer, but we don't need it. And I don't think winning the league's in our cards for this year because there's teams like Palmeiras whose depth is so big they can focus on every competition and still be okay. But I don't think we need to focus on the league this year. We can finish ninth place like we did last year and win the Libertadores or even just finish in a Libertadores spot and win the Copa do Brasil. It's up to Geniz and the team there at Fluminense who wants to decide what they're going to focus on this year, of course. Saturday, Fluminense and Live will be doing a live where we talk about things like this, talk with the chat, and just discuss opinions in general. So if you want to be there, there will be more information about that in the description. Moving on to some news news. Um, the game against Sampaio Correa for the first round of the Copa do Brasil that Fluminense will be playing will be played on May 5th in Espírito Santo, so not Maracanã. So if you're from Espírito Santo, go show up and show your Fluminense passion, your pride for the club. And if you are from Espírito Santo, leave it in the comments below. I'll be trying to reply to as many of those as possible, as well as Instagram DMs on my personal account. I will be replying to all of those. Now, the president of Sampaio Correa was saying some stuff about the Fluminense fans, just trying to get a reaction and I think it's best we don't give him a reaction because that's exactly what he wants. Sampaio Correa, it's a big club, but it's not as big as Fluminense. And I think he just wants all the eyes of the Fluminense fans on them. And that's why he said those things about the fans. A little bit of transfer news here. Marcos Pedro has been sent to Mineiro side Tom Bensi until at least December to play the third division of the Brasileirão. Stating, the Fluminense stated that there's no space in the club for him, which makes sense as we have some of the best attackers in the Brasileirão right now, with German Cano, João Arias, and Marquinhos, JK. Like, we have this great team, and there's not much room for subs and much less reserves. So if you can go to Tom Bensi and get some playing time, I think that's a great move for him, and I wish him the best. 
Now some amazing news for injuries. Keno and Renato Augusto have been cleared and are expected to play the game on the 25th. And I think these are two great players, Renato Augusto obviously being a veteran and Keno being um, a starting 11 quality player, but I don't think he will be on the starting 11 for a while due to the fact we have Marquinhos and Jean Arias there. And I believe that Andrea and Jean Arias will leave this year, which they're the two best players on the team in my opinion, Jean Arias number one and Andre number two. John Arias, we need that guy to run down the pitch and just give us attacks and create these plays, but um, Keno will kind of be good to fill in the void when he leaves eventually, and Andre, he's kind of that uh, key, the last piece in the puzzle that just makes everything click. Um, so his absence will definitely be felt, and I hope that we have a good replacement for him. If not, we're going to have to change up our style of play a little bit because it's really just that guy who's always there. And um, I hope we can get it all done together. Of course, we're going to talk about this more on Saturday in the live with you guys. Get your opinions. Talk about our opinions. Maybe I'll change my opinions. Uh, you might change your opinions. We'll just talk about the facts and it'll be a lot of fun. So make sure you're there on that live on Saturday. More details, obviously, in the description down below. So that's all for today. Um, that's all the news I have for today. Uh, this week I'll have another segment in Portuguese. So if you speak Portuguese, tune into that one. My Portuguese might not be the best, but I can get the message across. I speak Portuguese. And um, if you have any questions, uh, obviously DM my Instagram. Everything should be here. You can also DM the official account Instagram. All my socials should be here or here somewhere. Um, leave a like. Comment and subscribe, of course, if you enjoyed the content. And thank you for watching. I'm Enzo with Fluminense in English.